The man who allegedly violated a restraining order setting off an Amber Alert appeared before a judge. He is accused of snatching his daughter while she was sleeping. News 8's Aaron Cox was able to meet with the little girl and her mother. She's live outside of New Haven Superior Court tonight with more on what they had to say. Aaron. Hey, Keith, this little girl was moving fast and wouldn't sit still. So, you know, she's doing fine. Meantime, a judge took action here today to make sure her father doesn't see her for a while. This is the New Haven dad accused of snatching his daughter and threatening to kill her. Now a judge is taking steps to keep Robert Williamson Jr. from the child, issuing a protective order and boosting his bond to $750,000. We know he's not coming. He's not lurking. It, and it's safe to go outside. For now. For now. Mom allowing News 8 to visit with one year old Madison a day after she was the subject of an Amber Alert. The little girl celebrated her first birthday last week, but has been walking for weeks. The best part is that she's one. She doesn't understand her father, she doesn't understand what happened. So she'll be able to get past it. Wednesday, police say the dad violated a restraining order by barging into the apartment, grabbing the sleeping child, and threatening to kill the girl and himself. Hours after the Amber Alert, dad ended up surrendering himself with the child to police. Proof friends say that he cares about his daughter. Like I say, he's a good man. That's all I want to say. Mom still holding Madison very close and counting on the court to award her sole custody. Maybe down the road, we, we can try to work it out. Meantime, a custody hearing on the fate of Madison is set for next month. The very next day, dad is due in court on the kidnapping charges. We're live tonight in New Haven. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.